Hey everyone, this is Galen at ECU Master USA, and today we're working on our seven bar map sensor. With each of our sensor kits, you're gonna get the sensor that you ordered, the connector, seals, terminals, and thread sealant. And you'll also find on the front of each package the QR code that'll link you directly to any pertinent sensor information you might need. The first thing you'll notice on the back of this package is that the pinout for the sensors is actually the same. Pin one being your sensor ground, Pin 2, the 5 volt supply to the sensor, and pin 3 is the sensor signal that goes to the analog input of your EMU. Next, the tools we're going to use for this are a pair of flush cuts, wire strippers, and a high quality crimp frame designed for the terminals you're working with. There's going to be a link in the description for all of these tools so you can use exactly the same stuff we're using. Let's start by taking our flush cuts and derailing the terminals from the metal strip that they're attached to. I'm going to take the flush side towards the terminal, snip, and repeat. Now we include an extra in all of these kits in case a, a mistake happens, and trust me, they happen. So hopefully we'll only need these three that I'm using right now. For the wire color, we use blue for our five volt reference. We're gonna use white for sensor signal that goes to the analog input of the EMU. And then we're gonna use black for sensor ground. So before we strip these wires, we're gonna take the weather seals and put the wires through so that we don't have copper strands stabbing us in the fingers as we work later. This prevents fraying at the end of the copper. And also make sure that you do it before you terminate the wire into the terminal itself. It is a real pain in the neck to have to redo stuff after uh, you've already crimped the terminal onto the wire. Next, then we're gonna grab our strip tool. And I wanna show you guys the strip length here is set to the minimum value on the stripper uh, to allow for consistent exposed copper at the end of each of these wires. One. Let's take our crimp frame and load a terminal in and get it ready to crimp the deconductor into. You'll notice that this crimp frame has an automatic positioner here with a gate that's spring loaded. So as you insert the terminal, you push on the gate, opens the gate, closes on the terminal, and now it's positively located inside of the crimp frame so it can't rotate around or give you any funny business as you go to crimp this on. We're going to slide the conductor all the way forward, leaving the copper exposed. We're going to insert and then crimp slowly. There you go. Successfully terminated a wire into this GT150. Let's take our package and look at the back side for our sensor pinout. So we'll start with position one, which is our sensor ground. That is this hole here. Insert the terminal in until it clicks. Nice positive location there. Next we'll go to pin assignment two, which is our five volt supply to the sensor. And again, and last but not least is our sensor output, or sensor signal. That goes to the analog input of our EMU device. So now that you have these clipped in and they're locked, you're going to take this gray tab and press it till it closes. And now the tabs cannot come up. And that's how you wire the three position sensor. Now that we have our seven bar map sensor wired into our EMU Black, let's go into our EMU Black client software and make sure that we have this configured properly to work with our sensor. We're going to go into configuration and we're going to change the displayed units from Imperial to metric. Our sensor is sold with metric values shown on the packaging and on the sensor itself. So we're gonna configure the software in the metric scale so that it's one-to-one -one for your setup. Next, we're gonna go into sensor setup, go into the map and barrel window, open parameters and deselect the use built-in map option. Next, we're gonna go into the map calibration and right click over the X axis bins wizard and we're gonna set the minimum voltage as seen on the back of the package 
to a half volt. And we're gonna make sure that the maximum voltage of the sensor is set to four and a half volts. 4.51 is fine. Just make sure that it's correct when you make the change. And we're gonna set the minimum value of the sensor to zero. And then the maximum value of the sensor to 700 kPa. And now we're gonna highlight these cells, right click and interpolate horizontally. And now you have a linear scale from zero to seven bar or 700 kPa over a half volt all the way to four and a half volts. If this is correct, you're gonna to go to your make permanent icon, click it, and now this is written onto your EMU black. And now that we have this set up, we're gonna verify that the sensor is operating correctly. So now that we finished calibrating our seven bar map sensor, let's go ahead and connect to our EMU black device to make sure that we're connected. This will be indicated in the bottom corner, showing a connected status in a green highlighted box. Next, we're going to move our calibration panel out of the way so we can open up our graph log and our analog voltage. Next, we're going to connect the sensor. You'll see that the sensor is operating by the spike in KPA, the spike in voltage, and then it'll normalize at a steady state. Here in Dallas, we're seeing an atmospheric pressure of about 98 KPA over 1.06 volts. Now that you finish verifying that the sensor works, refer to your EMU first start checklist to finish calibrating this pro Nope. This could be different depending on where you are in the country. <sighs> Nutcrackers. Here in Dallas, we're seeing about 98 kPa over 1.06 volts. And depending on where you are in the country, this value might, might be different. I'll check with Michael tomorrow. I don't know. Go for it. Here in Dallas, we're seeing about 98 kPa over 1.06 volts. These values might vary depending on where you are in the country based on air density. Now that we've finished setting up the sensor and calibrating it in the software, continue working with your EMU First Start checklist to finish setting up this device for your project. Thanks for watching.